know we've got some family here, but I want to also, uh, the, the ones that are not family, would y'all please give David Lutz a good watch. Hey, what about my family? Come on, come on. Come on. With the family one time. The family, everyone. Oh. Yeah, that, that, now, wait a minute. Wait, this isn't a sing-along word. Girls sing, the guys sing. <laughs> Y'all were sitting on your hands over here. Let's all be as family and give. Y'all welcome David Lutz. Y'all right. right. haven't even heard me yet. This is great. This is set up really well. This is perfect. Footsteps down the hot house stairs. I watch you run into the night. Will you remember me? Will you remember.
Thank you all. How great is this, by the way? How great is this? Golly, I want to attach one of these to my house. I mean, the, I mean, the person who's got the best deal of all is Randy, and let's be honest, I mean, he's got it figured out. How artists just show up at your house ready to play a concert, you know? <laughs> Bucks Henderson just came to his house like two weeks ago to play. I mean, come on. Well, uh, it's been such a pleasure to, to, to get to spend the afternoon here. We did a, those of you who don't, don't know, we did a taping earlier to go uh, uh, on, online, and uh, that, was a, that was a lot of fun. Had some other folks out who couldn't come uh, to, the, to the concert tonight. Um, but it, I've just felt so welcome, and, um, you know, it's really... Randy, Randy said we, we, we want to do something that's like we did, you know, we used to do in the old days when really, I mean, music just basically started in living rooms, you know, and it just kind of expanded and got more complicated. But the truth is, this is really what it's all about. You just come back and, you know, you come back to it and it's, you know, I write a song and I want to share it with people and why not do it in the most comfortable place possible for everybody. So that's pretty great. Um, but I was connecting earlier with uh, with Helen's mom, Margaret, wherever you you my, oh, you're still in the same seat. Everybody else has kind of shifted, and I don't know where anybody is. Anymore. There's a whole, like, group of uh, women back there with glasses of wine, like, hiding behind the column. Got my, I've got my eye on y'all. Y'all are that's up to no good back there. Just about once a year, I go over to, uh, to Europe and tour, and I'm about to go in a couple weeks and have such a blast. But one of my very, very favorite places to go is, is the south coast of England, which also happens to be where Margaret's from and I uh, stay up the road from Eastbourne which is uh, just down the coast from Brighton and it's just some of the most quintessentially beautiful English country you'll see and uh, I've, I've really fallen in love with it but um, I got to uh, spend a little time in Devon as well which is on the southwestern coast and that's the uh, that's the setting of uh, Dartmoor National Park which is where uh, Sherlock Holmes set the Hound of the Baskervilles you know it's that sort of moorland with wild ponies and stuff like that. I, I, I pulled off the road when I was there, and I literally, in about 10 seconds, a wild pony was trying to stick his nose through my window. <laughs> so I say this could either be a really scary place, or this could be a perfect place to set a love song, and, and, and even better to set a forbidden love song. So in kind of the spirit of, uh, you know, something Romeo and Juliet ask, I wrote this song, and the, the woman's name is Lucia, or Lucia, depending on where you're from and if you can speak Spanish. But um, uh, she's, uh, and that means light. And uh, so anyway, this is a song called Lucia's Song.
I told you where I went to high school, you were gonna make something and start picking on me. Easy target. I have no retort. I learned retort at Highland Park as well. Huh? That's, that's the girl's retort. That's the girl's retort? <laughs> Is he going to refill those? Yes. Okay, so I've been warned. I'll get my really, my really soft Tinder songs out right now. Save the uh, my Rolling Stones cover set for the for the latter half of the evening. I started with those first two songs. Um, I did a tour in the south southeast back in June, and played a wonderful house concert at, at a, a North Carolina singer songwriter's house. And um, it was the day. It was the Saturday of Father Father's Day weekend so Father's Day was the next day and so she made it a kind of a family event and there were kids and, and all that kind of stuff so for the first time in my performing career I had like six-year-olds and eight-year-olds in my audience and uh, what I what I failed to take into consideration is they don't like to hear about love and they don't like love songs particularly between boys and girls and and um, that's just all very yucky so I actually had a couple of eight-year-olds walk out on my concert <laughs> <laughs> 
So I, qu I quickly learned what my demographic was. <laughs> And a lot of my songs do have to do with love. And this is sort of an attempt at... <laughs> I, I, I hope that was, had something to do with what I said, but it maybe not. <laughs> I think you'll have your own like commentary running back there, and I'm, just, I'm gonna be the last person to know because I'm across the room. But I'll just assume you think thought I was really witty. Anyway, this is, uh, this is sort of attempt number, I don't know, 37 in my my songwriting repertoire to, to tackle love. Anyway, it's called uh, I Love the Way You Move. Here's a song for a day And I'm a million miles away I wish that person had waited to text like maybe 10 more seconds and they would have timed it right at the end of the song. It would have been a perfect little touch. I have an iPhone as well, so I know what all those sounds are. <laughs> Please turn off all cell phones and two way pagers. Does anybody have two way pagers anymore? And did anybody ever have a one way pager? No. It's a little antiquated now. It sounds kind of quaint, doesn't it, to have a two way pager? So back in college, I. Uh, I studied history and I continue to read as much history as I can get my hands on. Um, I think as a musician and as a creative person, you just you, you just feed off of 
something like that because it history you know it comprises everything it's not just like a single discipline but it's just music and art and politics and anything you can think of and um what's that it is not an equation that is true though you can study the history of math in case you haven't figured out i'm not i was not very good at math so that's probably why i studied history okay pythagoras was really good at that in college one of the things i i spent a lot of time on was studying a lot of southern history because i went to college in north carolina and um particularly oral history, which is such a huge part of, uh, of shared history in the South, and that's uh, a lot of people who couldn't read, couldn't write, they would just pass down stories, and that was particularly true in the African American community. And uh, one of those, uh, those, those just fascinating things, that, that there's a lot of oral history but not a lot of written history, was uh, stories of the Underground Railroad. <laughs> which I just always, I, I was really taken by um, because of just the sheer stakes, you know, the, the, the drama of it and the, the heartache of it and all that. And, and um, I'd never really heard a song about it, so I decided to write a song about it, focusing on a father and a son. And uh, the father is, uh, they both are on a, uh, enslaved on a plantation in Mississippi, and uh, the father knows he can't escape himself. He's too old, but his son is healthy, and so he's, uh, this song is the father's last words to his son. It's really um, a goodbye, but also not only goodbye, you know, I know I'm probably not going to see you again in this life, but I have the, the, the hope that, that we'll see each other uh, on the other side. And so that's what this song is about. It's called Rise Up Elijah. Gospel and memory is all that I own. They've taken the rest of me through my hands, they work their soil. But you've been the hope for me. Freedom's your birthright And I have this hope for you Through the Mississippi night Rise up Elijah My only son Think of your mother My true one gone to heaven with your final prayer and I'll find you
As I walk you through the meadow Darkness takes you from my view And with the gospel and a memory You take the best of you Over across the river The water's moving Sigh Over across the desert The promised land abide Abide Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> My father in law, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Actually he gets he gets he gets the pri absolute pri whatever there's if there's a prize to be had uh, to be handed out, it, it goes to my father in law. He flew all the way from Korea today just to come to my show. <laughs> Going back tonight. Going back tonight. <laughs> now he was he was in he was in Seoul, South Korea all, all of last week. Um, uh, keynote speaker at a pediatric orthopedic, uh, one of the big international conferences that they do. And uh, fourteen hour difference. So I don't even know what day you're on. Are you on the, you're already on the twelfth, aren't you? <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. It's already Sunday for you. Anyway, so he's muscling through and uh, gets the gets the prize. Let's have let, let's have another uh, round of applause for Paula. <laughs> Such a great job. Yeah. What about you guys? I just felt like I could just wrap up and wrap up in your songs and the combination of your voice and his guitar and you know, just something really, ooh, it was nice. So, it's like a nice, <laughs> nice fleece, fleecy. Anyway, uh, speaking of songwriters that really inspire me, I'm gonna do a true, true Texas songwriter. He doesn't live here anymore, but he lived here for a long time. And, uh, a guy named Guy Clark. The Irish are known for writing a, a, a melancholy tune or two so anyway my, my mother-in-law is Irish so thank you too <laughs> anyway um, this is this song called Dublin Blues heartbreaking song Irish song <laughs> not really well I was I was in Austin Hit that chilly pile of bar Drinking my dog margaritas And not caring where you are But here I sit in Dublin I'm rolling cigarettes And I'm holding back and 
choking back the shakes with every breath and so forgive me of my anger forgive me of my faults I do not need forgiveness for thinking what I thought I loved you from the get go and I love you till I die I loved you on the Spanish steps the day you said goodbye. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I am just a poor boy. works my middle name If in money were the reason No, I would not be the same I'd stand up and be counted Now face up to the truth I can't walk away from trouble I can't walk away from you so forgive me of my anger Forgive me of my faults and I do not need forgiveness For thinking what I thought I loved you from the get-go And I love you till I die And I loved you on the Spanish steps The day you said goodbye been to Spain and I have been too proud to come in out of the rain and I have seen the David I've seen the Mona Lisa too I have heard Doc Watson sing Columbus Stockade Blues So forgive me of my anger Forgive me of my faults I do not need forgiveness For thinking what I thought I loved you from the get-go I love you till I die And I loved you on the Spanish steps The day you said goodbye At that chili parlor bar Drinking my dog margaritas And not caring where you Thank you. My lovely wife, Carolyn, is here, and she just so happens to be sitting close to this mic. Carolyn sings. Everybody, Carolyn Lutz. Hey, Carolyn. Well, we'll do one last song. Carolyn and I have a two and two and a half year old daughter named Ruby. Ruby somewhat cur curtailed Carolyn's singing career. Um, it was a blessing, absolute blessing, but um, it's not very often now where, where Carolyn gets to either come to my, not only come to my show, but then get up and, and sing. So this is a special, special thing for both of us. Anyway, it's a song that was on my, my first record. Uh, it's called Over the Moon. 
And I should I should add, uh, Randy mentioned it earlier, but um, this I mean I get to play every a lot of different places all over the the country and and all over the state. And there's just no, there's there's so few places that are like this. And uh, this is just really really special. I, you know I know if it's in your backyard you don't you tend to not 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 realize it. But um, anyway I, I I can say being an outsider that this these things just don't happen. And uh, and so uh, I, I just hope you all fully support what they're doing. I mean, they, you know, they're doing it because they love music and they want to want to create a community of, of, of songwriters. But um, they've also got to keep the lights on. And I think they want to buy some even comfier folding chairs. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are fine. But anyway, I got to sit in the sit in the, the, the sample, the prototype. And yeah, it's we're pretty we're it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's what we're going to. Yeah. Anyway, but they got to do all those things and, and uh, you know keep this going so artists can come and feel feel welcomed and and because we just don't we don't get to feel like this all the time. <laughs> it's a struggle sometimes. So anyway, um, I, I, I ask you to support generously. Uh, this song called "Over the Moon."
Kevin Lutz. See you all again in a few minutes.